Hello learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about Avogadro's Law. In a gas, its physical behavior is described by these four variables, namely pressure, volume, temperature, and amount or mole. In this video, we will have Avogadro's Law which is concerned in relationship of volume and amount of gas. This condition is true when temperature and pressure is constant. Avogadro's law was formulated by the famous scientist Amadeo Avogadro in late 1812. In Avogadro's experiment, he prepared two test tubes and fitted it with piston cylinder assembly. In the first test tube, he added about 0.10 mole of dry ice and 0.20 mole of dry ice in the second test tube. When the dry ice became gas in the room temperature, and the pressure of the dry ice became equal to atmospheric pressure, he noticed that the volume in the second test tube is twice the volume of the first tube. The relationship of volume and amount follows this graph as shown. When we write it in mathematical terms, we have volume is directly proportional to amount. This relation can also be expressed as the volume over amount is equal to some constant if we have a gas under two different conditions. We can write the formula as In the formula, we can see that under a certain condition of the gas, increasing the volume would result to increasing the amount of gas or decreasing the volume would result to decreasing the amount mo. For example, the initial amount of dry ass is 1 mo and occupies a volume of 2 liters. What is the volume if we increase the amount of dry ice to 2 mo? We first identify the given. We have, we are going to find the final volume. Hence, we substitute the known values to the formula. Solving for the final volume, we have 4 liters. So the final volume is 4 liters. Doubling the amount mole also doubles the volume. So that's it. It's very easy, right? So that is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.